Happy day, my dear students. As we face pandemic, let us always wear a smile because this is one way that we could create a difference. And today we'll be discussing the sum of infinite geometric series on week four, day four of our lesson. And the learning competency is that the learner finds the sum of infinite geometric series. And this is the formula on how to find our infinite geometric series. The sum to infinity is equal to the first term or the a sub 1 over 1 minus r. 4 r is greater than negative 1 or r is less than 1. Ibig sabihin, ang r natin dapat siya ay naglalaro between 99 hundredths, negative 99 hundredths to positive 99 hundredths. Tandaan natin kung saan siya bumuka, yun ang malaki. Okay? So, let's have the example for this. Ito na siya yung sinabi ko. Naglalaro lang ang value ng R sa 9 tenths or 99 hundredths. Depends on you. To 9 tenths. Positive, negative. Let's try this one. Find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence. 9, 3, 1. But before that, of course, you have to identify R if it is suited to the condition. Kasi pag hindi siya suited, ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng gamitin yung formula natin. So let's try. 3 divided by 9 is 1 third. Or the lowest term of 3 over 9 is 1 third. Ito na siya, natali, 1 third. At ang 1 third ay pasok doon sa condition natin. So, the first term is 9, and R is 1 third. And let's simply substitute to the formula. The first term is 9, and 1 minus 1 third. Bakit naging 2 thirds? Bakit kaya naging 2 thirds? Ganito siya kadali. Ito ay tinuturo sa inyo nung elementary kayo. Hindi lang kayo siguro nakikinig. Kaya kayo nahihirapan when it comes with adding or subtracting and even multiplying and dividing fractions, mixed or similar fractions. So we have two thirds, three times one. What is three times one? It's three. Three minus one is two. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng two over three. Kopya yung three, the denominator. Diba? Napakadali. And bakit naging 27 over two ang ating sagot? Ganito lang siya kadali. When we are dividing, di ba, cross multiplication, so 9 times 3. What's 9 times 3? 27. 27 over 2. So, kung ayaw maniwala, you can pressure calculators. 9 over 2. Divided by 2 over 3. And the quotient is 27 over 2. Okay? So, let's try another example. What is the sum to infinity of 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth? So, again, to find R, you have to divide. 1 fourth divided by 1 half is 1 half. Diba? Okay, so our first term is 1 half and R is 1 half. And let's substitute. The first term is 1 half. Then, 1 minus R is 1 half. 1 half. 1 minus 1 half, diba? Tinuturo sa inyo sa elementary na pag isa buo, 1 whole, pag kinalahate, binawasan ng kalahate, ang salot ay kalahate. Parang pizza na pag buo siya, kinuha mong kalahate, ang matitira ay kalahate, kaya 1 half. And if you divide numbers, the same number, ang kanyang sagot is 1. So, ganun lang siya. Madali. Madali lang itong infinity. You'll just need to identify the value of R. Pag ang R mo ay naglalaro lang siya, pumasok siya doon sa kondisyon na negative 99 hundredths to 99 hundredths. Positive. Pwede na natin gamitin ang formula. And let's try another one. Find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence. Negative 2 divided by 2. Tingnan natin, I mean negative 8. 
Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Ang negative 4 ba ay paso? Kasi dapat ang value ng R natin ay 0 at 99 hundredths. Pasok ba ang negative 4? Hindi siya pasok. Ibig sabihin, kung hindi siya pasok, therefore, the series has no sum. We cannot compute kasi yung condition niya did not satisfy the value of R. So, ganun lang siya ka kadali. So, again, you can answer the exercises on your module week 4, day 4, And then, the evaluation for this and our resources, just the same resources na kinukuhaan ko. And I'll be leaving you, Jeremiah 31.3. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Bakit? When we say infinite, my dear students, it's endless. It's forever. You can experience love to be loved forever. You can experience true happiness, satisfaction in life when you have Christ in your life. He gave His Son, Jesus Christ. He died for us that we may live. Yun yung sinasabi natin, infinite. And our role or responsibility is that we will be having Christ-like character in us for, in order for us to live fully and to inherit the kingdom he is preparing for the righteous. God bless everyone and keep safe. Keep tuning in for more lessons to be uploaded. God bless.